Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. We've got Rohit Srivastav, Chief Investment Officer and Portfolio Manager with Saroj and Banu Fund, who's going to talk about the AI-based algorithm. It's got technical analysis with predictive analytics. So Rohit, tell us uh, some disclosures first, and then we'll get right to it. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, Josh, and uh, uh, thank you for having me again on this one. Uh, Before we start uh, uh, the disclosure, which is that this is all for entertainment, this is all for learning, we are not here for giving any financial advice, use your own analysis and your own uh, um, graphs and stuff to decide what you want to buy and what you want to sell, so this is not a financial advice. And we have been talking about the cannabis index, which uh, is like an equally weighted index. And this equally weighted index is mostly for uh, understanding how the cannabis market is overall doing. Uh, this where we were in, in, since the inception of this podcast series we have been doing. Uh, this was about a m- month ago, two months ago. <coughs> this was two weeks ago. This was last week. And this week, we're still there. Uh, at 475, uh, holding the support and looks like it is trending a little bit upwards. So it is a very good sign. I I would say that it's a good sign and it has been holding up on that. So uh, I would cautiously get in a little bit more. Like I said, last week we would be getting into that cautiously and this week we're getting a little bit more into that. So uh, any kind of investment, I I always like to take take an incremental approach, not all all in or all out. Uh, uh, from a risk mitigation perspective. So at this point, I think getting in a little bit more would be probably a good idea. Uh, From a cash flow perspective, this was from the inception. This was about two months ago. This was two weeks ago. And this was last week. And this week, we are still holding up above the uh, average daily trade value, which is a very good sign, which means that (laughs) investors are still uh, holding up and still believe that it is probably in the right direction to invest into that. Uh, from a short sell perspective, we don't have anything new uh, added into that. We had a lot of trouble uh, last this last week because of the whole uh, coronavirus thing, but but these stocks <coughs> have been holding up. These stocks and generally the market has been holding up. So, uh, which is a very good sign that the. Um, that it is, it is actually uh, uh, in a good shape. All of these stocks are in relatively good shape. Um, so from a summary perspective, uh, the cash inflow and from the overall market support of 475, it looks very positive. And I would still cautiously slowly get into, into this uh, market uh, uh, with more positivity. And from the short term, it is holding up uh, um, holding up what we have existing from last week, nothing to be sold, nothing to be changed, not, nothing new to be buy uh, <clears throat> on that. Um, so I think we're looking good at this point uh, from the cannabis market itself, uh, getting in and uh, like, like I said, that any of these uh, uh, points are more uh, picking up your favorite ones, what you think you wanna invest in. Um, and that's what I have at this point. Uh, I would love to talk more about Tesla, but I think we're not in that area at this point. But uh, that's what I have for you, John. No, if, if Elon Musk had his way, he would be selling something cannabis. But uh, right now, <laughs> Tesla is not made from hemp, and it's it's not uh, not powered by CBD. By, uh, yeah, it's not yet. <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah, there's some interesting stuff out there. I think Hexo got a hundred million dollars from an in- a institutional investor. Yes. Um, so that was part of that cash inflow. Um, we just did a pitch deck review for Canopy Growth. They're out there, which is odd to have a publicly traded company with this PR style. It's not an investment deck per se because they didn't have an ask, but mm-hmm. to even have a pitch deck is is odd. Right. Um, so with that institutional capital rolling in a hundred million dollars, that's obviously going to help the industry. But um, whether or not that uh, the retail investors don't pull their money out when that price pops is i don't know that's a guess we'll have to wait and see yes yeah uh but it looks like this this week uh the uh the this week even with all the trouble it actually hold up that's uh that to me is a good sign usually even with the market being in a, a positive direction a lot of money has been pumped in into mm-hmm. other industries like that tech industry specifically but it is interesting to see that and I, i'm looking forward for this next one week to see how these 
uh, cannabis marketplace. It, it looks like a couple of different ways. Like I, I hope that there's a new support and, and that it's <clears throat> testing that new resistance, but it also looks like it could be setting up uh, a head and shoulders from earlier, I think right. uh, October where it dropped 5%. So it really could go either way. Nothing settled yet. Just like the industry itself. Right. So yeah, for any answers, you just have to come back to the talking hedge. So with that, we're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is the talking hedge. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe or don't. And I'm out. Thank you.